we'll start today with AJ's closed guard. Uh, closed guard means that his legs are completely locked behind me. All right. Um, when I'm looking to pass someone's guard, um, the first thing is you have to understand, I can't go through AJ's legs. I'm not a ghost, all right? So I need to either go over AJ's legs or under AJ's legs, all right? The first thing that's always addressed in my first line of defense is distance. AJ wants my neck, my shoulders, my arms. The closer they are to him, all right, the easier it's going to be for him to work submissions. So I want to have posture, all right? Now, a lot of times people don't really understand what posture is. Posture has nothing to do with the lower part of my body. All right? right now, my butt is on my heels. Here, I have good posture. If my butt is on my heels and I am broken down like this, this is bad posture. If my hips are raised and my butt is off my heels, right now, my back is straight. This is good posture. If he breaks me down and I'm down like this, this would be bad posture. Again, if I'm standing up, all right, and my back is flat like a wall, this would be good posture. However, if I'm broken down like this, even standing up, this is bad posture, all right? So not to get confused what's going on with my lower half, I like to say that, you know, think of it like if my back was on a wall. I want to maintain contact, my spine against the wall the whole time. So first thing is, is to get my posture. Once I get my posture, I need to make sure that I can maintain posture, right? Right now, AJ can grab my head with his hands and pull me back down, right? He can bring his knees to his chest, bring me down, right? So once I get my posture, it's very important that I maintain this posture or this space between us, all right? So I like to take my hands and I put them right in his abdomen. I keep my elbows locked out completely straight, all right? From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step up my right foot, okay? I step up my right foot. However, you see how right now his leg is shelved on this thigh, right? If I try to push down on this leg, my thigh is stopping it from putting any pressure on his leg. So as I lift up my right foot, I want my hips to come off my butt so that it's a straight fall right to the mat. This leg is shelved. This leg can go all the way to the mat. I keep my elbow nice and tight. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to push down on AJ's knee really hard. As soon as this happens, I need to drop my elbow to the mat and swim underneath his leg like this. All right? My elbow has to be to the mat because if it's up like this, I'm looking to get right into a triangle. It's going to happen to me every time. All right? So as soon as I break that bar and it opens, my elbow goes to the mat. All right? Now I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to go across AJ's neck right to his shoulder. Right? I don't need to worry about sneaking my head out of his legs. I'm going to make AJ so uncomfortable, he's going to pass his legs for me. So right now, I want to drive my shoulder, right, or I want to drive AJ's knee to his face. Right? I'm going to get on my toes. Right? This hand is now going to scoop underneath his butt, and I'm going to drive his knee to his face. How are you feeling over here, AJ? Feels good. <laughs> This is really stopping somebody where right now there's a ton of pressure on him, on his chest, on his back. He wants me to pass that leg more than anything else. So I'm just going to sit here, dropping my forearm on his neck, and eventually, not moving my head, I'm going to pass his leg right to the side and maintain on top right to side control. All right? So let's go through that one more time. I'm in AJ's closed guard. First thing. I cannot pass the guard until I open it, all right? Again, I can't go through AJ's legs. So first thing is I get my posture. I need to maintain this. My hands go right on AJ's abdomen. Elbows stay straight. I step up my right leg, all right? And now my hip needs to come up from my butt. My butt needs to leave my heels so that I have room to push down. This elbow stays tight. I take my hand to AJ's knee. I push down more until I get a break. I come underneath this way, drop my elbow nice and tight to the mat. All right? Again, this is why it's over under, all right? Right now I'm in a position where I could go over his right leg or I could go under his left leg. In this series, we're going under his left leg. All right? So once I'm in this position, this hand goes across to AJ's shoulder. All right? I start getting on my toes and bringing his knee to his face. This hand scoops under his butt, driving him nice and tight. I have my forearm against AJ's throat, and I'm going to keep on turning nice and tight until I get my pass. All right? So one more time in live speed.
Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, man, any feedback is greatly appreciated. If you haven't been down to the facility, come check us out. We're in Marlboro, New Jersey, in Monmouth County, right on Route 79. You can check out the website at www.infernotpc.com. Um, and we hope to see you guys soon. Later.